everybody, welcome back to the channel and uh, today we're fishing at Abbotsbury on the Chesil Beach. It's been about uh, three months since I've been to Abbotsbury, last came in November so uh, break in the weather and uh, sort of come down and drown a few worms uh, and see uh, if we can beat the blank uh, following the uh, miserable trip we had at Battery Point last week. It's uh, Monday the uh, 11th of March uh, very big tides this week. Uh, we've got a low tide in about half an hour, half past one, and high tide is eight o'clock. And we've got about a four metre tidal difference at, um, at Abbotsbury today. So, very big tide. And just for cons comparison, where it was like 9.3 metres last week in, in Port Z, today it's like 14 metres. So, an extra, almost an extra five metres of uh, tidal height at, uh, at Bristol in the Bristol Channel. I parked in the car park at Abbotsbury. Um, I had to pay because I'm going to fish tonight up until probably 11 o'clock probably. Um, paid eight quid on the car parking. The machines are working. One of them's moved so both of them are now by the cafe. And uh, lots of work going on up there in the toilets. So new sinks by the looks of it. Uh, doing some work there so a bit of plumbing activity going on on the toilets. And um, I've walked about 400 yards towards uh, West Bexington. Um, so looking out to sea, I've just gone, uh, I've gone right. I've only gone 400 yards up the road just to clear the anglers that are fishing. And there's quite a few people fishing in front of the car park. And uh, would you believe it, there's a f even a few mackerel uh, people, mackerel fishermen there as well. So, uh, well, good luck to them today. Um, we've got quite a brisk uh, northwesterly wind. Uh, it's about 10 mile an hour. It's meant to ease off a bit uh, into the evening. So the sea is relatively calm because I think the winds have been easterly, so uh, that doesn't bode well for the fishing. But uh, a little bit of a swell. But there's plenty of colour in the water, which is a good thing. So uh, you never know. Might pick up a a dog or a pout or something like that.
baits today. I've got uh, ragworm and lugworm from Real Fun Fishing in Porter's Head. Uh, I've got squid, bluey, mackerel, some frozen blacks and even some ragworm that I got left over from last week. I just put it in the fridge and uh, it doesn't look too bad. Not the liveliest of ragworm, but uh, it'll go on a hook okay. So fingers crossed, let's see uh, what, we, uh, what we can do. Fishing three rods. Um, I've got a, a pulley panel with a piece of mackerel. I've got a pulley panel with rag and squid. And I've got a tuot clipped with uh, rag and squid at the moment. And then just gonna alternate baits, see how we go. So fingers crossed. So principal rigs today, pulley panel. Um, got 170 gram Gemini lead with a imp connecting swivel, link swivel, 80 pound ASO rig body, and then uh, usual bead, pulley bead, bead, uh, cedar swivel, and I've got, I think this is about 50 pound amnesia, to a 1.0, just a single hook, quite a small bait, only maybe two or three inches, got black lug there, whipped on, I was thought the water might be a bit clearer, that's why my rigs have got some attractors on and a tiny bit of squid. So trying a, a smaller a smaller bait setup today. See how that uh, see how that goes. In an attempt really to try and cast a little bit further into the little bit of headwind that we've got here today. Oh, I did have a small tiny little small strap conger. Uh, about the size of a launce, big launce, but he was bleeding a little bit so I took him off at the water's edge and put him back in. I didn't want to get the camera out for that tiny thing. And a chap down there I think has had dogfish and a bit bits and bobs so there's uh, fish showing which is great. <laughs>
may or may not realise from the video, but I've had terrible problems uh, filming yesterday with my audio. I uh, 17 of the videos I took um, using my GoPro didn't have any sound at all. I think the GoPro was compensating for background noise. It's got like a noise suppression for uh, wind and things like that. And I think it overcompensated and actually took all the uh, audio off the uh, 17 other videos in a row. So when I came to edit the video today, uh, I had a big problem. So that's why there's a montage, a lot of montages and, and sounds. Uh, sorry, with, with music and, uh, and no sound. So really sorry about that. I think the trip at the end of the day was uh, uh, quite successful. Plenty of fish in, in darkness, Lo lots and lots of dogfish. Pretty much won a chuck on, uh, on, on fish baits. I think at one point I had seven in a row. Um, I caught a place at dusk uh, at 29 centimetres, so just above the legal size, So, which was a nice surprise. That was my first place since uh, July 2022. Um, and a few poutin and a strap conger. And I uh, had a couple of hermit crabs for, for good measure as well. Um, at the back end of the video, I just uh, tagged a little bit of the seven ball up in the Bristol Channel. So very big tide at Abbotsbury uh, yesterday. Uh, one of the biggest of the year and um, obviously the same for the UK round um, and that results in a in a very large uh, tidal ball pushing up the River Seven so I've just put that uh, as a little uh, ending uh, video on this uh, on this one so thanks again for watching apologies for the uh, lack of sound on some of the clips today and uh, thank you for those who uh, comment uh, like and subscribe and uh, Hopefully we'll be out again soon, so until the next time, cheers now, bye now.